name is John Dawson and I'm doing a series of videos on how to do uh, Pronto prints. Um, in this particular video we're going to discuss uh, ways of getting the imagery onto the uh, Pronto plate. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the Pronto plate uh, can uh, be used on either side, which means that uh, you could draw on uh, one side, if you make a mistake and didn't like it, you can turn it over and draw on the other side. You could even do prints on both sides. I don't know why one would want to really do that. The Prano planes aren't really very expensive. Uh, the other thing that you need to know about them is that uh, you need to put a border of at least one inch around uh, the edge of the Prano plate. Um, the uh, prints uh, print best if... Um, the paper isn't any larger than the plate, and the uh, border around the edge helps uh, facilitate that. Now, uh, one of the ways to do a Prano print, of course, is to just draw directly onto the plate with a printable material and then print it. However, uh, if you do that, the image is going to come out in reverse. So, one of the ways uh, that you could do that to avoid that happening is uh, draw on the uh, one side of the plate and because the plate is translucent you can uh, turn it over and um, and you can pretty much uh, see the drawing uh, on the other side and then um, draw it out again with a printable material and then when you print it it's going to uh, print the way it was meant to be seen to start with. There are a number of different ways to um, get the uh, images onto the, the plate, and we're going to uh, demonstrate a few of those. Uh, the other thing that I might mention that I think I mentioned in an earlier video is it's a, a, not a bad idea to get some surgical gloves. Um, these plates are kind of susceptible to fingerprints and palm prints, and uh, by wearing some surgical gloves while you work, you can avoid getting unwanted fingerprints or unwanted marks on the plate that you can't see but will print later. Um, the other thing that I do is I take a piece of newsprint and I put it over uh, the plate in um, areas uh, where I'm not working uh, also to avoid getting uh, unwanted marks uh, on the plate. So uh, next we're going to uh, do a few demonstrations of other ways to put uh, the um, artwork uh, onto the plate. In this first example, I'm going to do a pronto print from an already existing drawing. I'm going to put a, a pronto plate over the top of the drawing and then with a heavy pencil uh, do an outline of the basic shape. Now I know what you're thinking, where are the surgical gloves? Uh, this is being drawn on the back of the plate, so um, finger marks and so forth are not a, an issue uh, in this particular case. So once I have the uh, basic shape drawn out, um, I'm going to uh, remove the drawing and then flip the plate over. Now on the front side of the plate, I can see the, um, the basic drawing that I had drawn in the reverse. And I'm going to uh, uh, draw in the figure now with um, printable materials, printable uh, media. The uh, photo that you see at the top of the, um, of the, of the video is uh, a uh, photo of the original um, drawing that uh, I put in the computer and then uh, flipped it. Uh, this has to be drawn in a mirror image. And uh, while on this particular piece it's really not all that important, it's a great aid sometimes to, uh, uh, to have a photo that's uh, uh, been printed uh, backwards so that you can use it as an aid to, uh, to do the mirror image. And this is the uh, finished uh, Pronto plate before I've uh, begun to print it. For this next example, we're going to take a, a preliminary drawing and be using a light box. Uh, for those who are interested, uh, I have a, uh, a video on YouTube on how to build a light box. Um, the preliminary drawing has to be done on a piece of paper that's fairly thin, something that uh, 
you could be able to see through on the light box. Uh, a heavy uh, paper like uh, BFK or other drawing papers really won't work. Um, sketchbook paper works pretty well. This is the preliminary drawing I'm using. It's uh, really just a simple sketch. I put it on the light box and then put a uh, pronto plate over the top. Once again, I'm drawing on the back of the plate and then we're going to flip the plate over and redraw the um, drawing on the other side of the plate. I'm using a um, Sharpie fine point to draw in the outline of the figure. And then once I'm done with that, I'll remove it from the light box and um, complete the drawing elsewhere. This is the uh, finished plate and uh, this is the uh, resulting print. Well, that, uh, that about does it for this one. Uh, we'll follow this up with uh, some other examples of prints of mine and uh, the web address for my web page and Facebook page. And if you're interested, you can also uh, subscribe to other uh, videos of mine on YouTube.